guys uh this is a quick video on uh, matrix system conversions so uh, we know that matrix system is the international uh, system for measurements right here in the u.s we do not use that system but you know in the rest of the world we usually use this system so it becomes really important for us to understand the conversion back and forth now this will be a quick video and I'm going to run you through a sentence right here. So, King Henry doesn't understand being, you know, doing conversions of matrix. Now, you want to take the first letter of each word. So, like here, K means kilograms and, you know, uh, decimeter, millimeter, uh, centimeter, millimeter. Now, how this looks like is right here this is the table so k is kilo kilo hecta deca u is the unit but we'll come back to that deci centi milli now unit is it could be liters it could be grams it could be meters anything that's given in the question whatever unit has been given in the question is going to fall right here in this unit place now let's see how this looks like so this is our chain of units now for example you want to grow go from a milligram to a kilogram suppose your question says um how much is 2000 milligrams in kilograms well let's work that problem together okay suppose the question says convert um 2000.0 milligrams to say grams for this question okay yes now on the conversion table we know milligrams is right here and grams is right here right so how many places on the left is grams? One, two, and three. So milligrams is three places on the right of grams. So the grams is right here. So what are we going to do? We want to go three places on the left to get grams. So right here, we want to go one, two, and three places. So our decimal is going to be right here. So that will make it 2 grams. Does that make sense? Well, if you don't understand this, pause the video and look at the table again. The table is right here. You just want to go back and forth. Let's do another example. Say the question says you want to convert 5,000 centimeters centimeters to say meters now on this question our centimeters are here and our meters are here right so what are we going to do so we know it's going to be 0, 0.0 we're right here we know we have to go two places on the left so we go two places on the left and it's going to be 50 meters and we can go back and forth like that so let's do an example for for going from kilometers to meters so suppose i have uh say i want to convert five kilometers to um to do to do two meters let's do meters so I know on this table kilometers is one two and three places on the left of meter right so I have to go three places on the left now three places on the right so my decimals right here now what should I be doing? I want to go three places on the right to get to meters. So I'll write it right here. 
and this is my decimal right here. I'm going to write zero so I know how many places I'm going. So I have to go three places on the right. So one, two, and three. So my decimal is going to be, this is going to look like this. Zero, 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 five. Right? Doesn't make sense. Meters. So five kilometers is 5,000 meters. So, you know, of course the decimal's right here, so it's going to be 5,000 meters. So, 5 kilometers is 5,000 meters. So, you just go basically back and forth on this chart uh, from millimeters, you want to go kilometer, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 steps on the left. From hectometer, if you want to go to centimeters, you have to go 1, 2, 3, 4 places on the right. So you can just play, you know, going back and forth. And it does not have to necessarily be meters. It could be a grams. It could be liters. It could be liters all the way through it. Okay. So if this video is not clear, just go back and forth. Just review it one more time. And all you want to remember for this one is that sentence. And that's a pretty interesting one. Thank you.